to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What would it take to get that clock? Okay. The comments. Have you had a chance to read the minutes? I have. We've seen no reason to any adjustments or anything. I second that motion. <laughs> All in favor, let's see. Why am I saying aye? Aye. aye. Okay. Committee comments and committee reports. You got uh, have tonight, don't you? Yeah, I've got a. NEK Multi County Health meeting tonight at 7 30. Uh, also, have two meetings Thursday, NEKES at Troy in, at 9 in the morning, and NECAP at Hiawatha at 6 p.m. That is if we're still taking the same assignments, that, which we will decide to do. <coughs> and I had a meeting last week uh, for area agency on aging. Nothing new to report there. I have not. Really I have nothing either. Uh, new business before the board. I got a couple of things. I just got this uh, just you now. Skipped, you skipped over the report of elected officials. I don't know if that's why we're in here. Well, reports of elected officials. And department heads. Department heads. I'm here for the three Okay. Okay. I, I didn't mean to skip over it yet. It's just that uh, normally there's anybody here for that. So, uh, I got this from the, uh, in regard to the Memorial Hall. Those are hereby given the Edison Planning Commission will hold a public hearing. Is there an application for Triangle Self Storage LLC and Yarko Defco LLC to change the change in zoning 832 Commercial Street, legally described as Lot 25 through 28, Block 15, LC Chalice Edison of the City Edison. The property owners are requesting zoning for I-1 Limited Industrial District to be for a general business district. So this is basically going to be a hearing to see if we want to. And what is it? This is the... That's the old Backyard Atlas building. What? The Backyard Atlas building, I think. The old one at 9th and Commercial. Okay. So that... But it's going to be how many blocks? Is it just the one address or is it a block zone? I think it's is this the court? It doesn't say the building. This is the trail. Yeah, that's I Googled the address and that's what it is. So. Okay, so do we have any concerns about our Memorial Hall? <coughs> I can't think of any at the time. Well, Pat? I don't. Okay. Nice to meet you. We'll file we'll and move on. Uh, I have a request here from um, USD 377 in ASAF Atchison for their quarterly maintenance from um, the sales tax revenue bond in a matter of $1,250. Um, and I have the backup. Uh, information that goes with it. Do I have a motion to approve the twelve hundred and fifty dollars? I don't want to throw a monkey wrench in the works if it's uh, our agreement says that they'll provide copies of their budgets and there was a budget presented from USD three seventy seven. I didn't see the budget from sure, did you have that budget? ASAF. Three seventy seven is the one budget that was Presented. That's what he's talking yeah. about. No, we're, ASAF did not oh. present one. And I, I don't know whether it makes a difference to you because I, uh, frankly, I'm not sure they do a budget. I think, uh, I think the check goes to ASAF and then they pay it to the Recreation Commission. But uh, it's been a discussion in the past about how much of a dialogue you want to have each year with. Uh, either of those entities. So, the chair would entertain a motion to approve the bond 
trust indenture for $12,500. I so move, Mr. Chairman. I thought this is the first payment for That's 2020. January. Right, the first quarter. Okay, I'll, I'll second that. All in favor signify by say aye. Aye. I will talk to the SMF commissioner. The future is one signature. And then, Pat, I think this is under your. Yes. Okay, so we'll wait till we get to that. Okay. Um, okay, Jay Harbor, Public Works Director, Soldier Creek Transmission Line Interim Agreement. And I think right away, what? You guys discussed not to do that this morning. You discussed not to talk about that this afternoon, okay. right yet? Okay, so we're not talking about that today. Um, okay, our. Next thing on our agenda is the organization the meeting that we do every year on or about the 13th of uh, uh, January. Let me get that document up. So, so first order of business would nominate a chairman for 2020. Do I have any nominations? I make a motion, or I make a nomination for Jack Myers, Jr. Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Passes three to zero. Okay. Chair, we entertain a motion to nominate a vice chairman for 2020. I nominate Eric Mills last year. I'll second it. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Okay, appointment commissioners and county personnel of various committees. Um, there is Ambulance Advisory Board, which is currently Eric Knoll, Area Aging Agency on Aging, Eric Knoll, Chamber Board, Jamie uh, Madison, HR Director. Community Corrections Advisory Board, Commissioner Bill Paul, County Health Vice Chairman Eric Knoll, um, JJA, uh, Commissioner Bill Paul, Joint Commission Commissioner Jack Bauer, um, the Mokan Regional Council will delete for 2000, uh, we deleted it so we no longer belong, the NEK Regional Board, Vice Chair Eric Knoll, uh, N-E-K-E-S, Eric Knoll, Project Concern, Bill Pohl, Solid Waste Advisory Board, Jack Bauer, the Van Diver Trust will delete for 2020, Economic Development Representative, Jack Bauer. Um, I have one slight change, which kind of happened in mid-year last year uh, when I took over the Area Agency on Aging Board from Peggy House when the changeover happened there. I kind of asked that Bill step in on the ambulance advisory board uh, because I had, you know, I've got five committees. So uh, if that's all right, I would like to move him on to that. Is that all right with you, Bill? Sure. Okay. So <laughs> any other comments? <clears throat> uh, the chair would entertain a motion to make the assignments as, as uh, presented. I shall move. No, Is there a second? Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Appoint care trustees and alternate trustees. Um, current trustee is Jamie Madison. Alternate uh, trustee is Michelle Phillips. And now they want a, an alternate. They want an additional. I'm sorry. So currently it's Jamie Madison and Michelle Phillips. Do we have any nominations for 2020? I'll make a motion they stay the same. I'll second that if they're willing to. They're both willing to serve? No? Okay. All in favor, second, probably say aye. Aye. Okay. Renew Memorial Hall Trustee for Terry McKinney. Term expired. December 2019. 
All in favor, signify. Oh, sorry. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. It's moved and seconded. Any further discussion? If not, I assume you're ready to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Passes three to zero. Approval of holidays for 2020. Uh, there's a proposal for 2020 down below. It starts with Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day. <clears throat> the only change I see is where well, we give them a half a day in 2019. They're asking for a full day for 2020. Is that the take on that? Um, what I put on the proposed is what was approved by the Supreme Court for the upstairs. Jamie, I know, did a survey with all the employees. I don't know if you guys want to hear her take on that and what was received from that before you actually make decisions. Sure, I'd like to hear what it was, Jamie. Um, I haven't seen it. So the majority um, of the votes came back with um, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, and the day after, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. Um, the only difference from um, what would be presented would be the New Year's Eve is the only difference. Did you on. did you mention uh, Martin Luther King Day? Um, that one actually did not. Um, it was on the list, but New Year's Eve and Martin Luther King New Year Day had the lowest votes. And one thing, as far as um, I sent out when I sent out the survey, um, the state had already approved their holidays um, last. Did they do it? In April or May. And I think Connie and Jack um, would like to speak on their behalf as far as um, having the county holidays match what the state has approved. For me, it makes business sense for us to be closed on the same holidays because we rely upon the state for a certain number of things. And if someone were to come in and have a stop, on their name that's put on by the state, or we have a, an IT issue. There's a lot in motor vehicles that we cannot do without the state. And so if the state is physically closed, that really ties our hands as to how much business we may or may not be able to conduct that day. Is there any particular days that, of this proposal, or which days are affected? The state hol there's 14 state holidays, right? Uh, 12? Okay, sorry. I think that's the Supreme Court. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah, they have 12. Um, one that they include is Columbus Day, which, um, as we discussed previously, we would like to keep that as our um, employee training day, oh. so that wouldn't necessarily be one of our holidays. Um, so the ones that they have are Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, uh, the Columbus Day, <laughs> Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Day After Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So Christmas Day, Christmas Eve is not a federal holiday. State holiday, yeah, it's going to be a state holiday. Yes, it is there. And, and uh, but Martin Luther King is a state and a federal holiday. Yes. So what do, what do you propose? Then? You got it. Yeah. My suggestion would be the, to match the state holidays other than um, Columbus Day, and we continue Columbus Day as our employee training day. We have, we have the same, I mean, I would suggest the same. Um, we can really have very much footwears and not, but the banks are closed. Exactly. Yep. And so yep. if we deposit money that day, she has to go back and change dates on those things. And, uh, 
the uh, working with the courts, you know, scheduling the courts um, for our guys to take inmates to that you know, it's pretty, you know, the days that we're here, we're going to be here each day, it just makes it, make it a little easier uh, on that part of it. And the, uh, honestly, the, those days that we have that are state holidays, people assume that we're closed anyway and they didn't have a lot of traffic. The county attorney would say we'd probably be another one for that. The courts weren't open, but what would be the plan of them being here? So we would like to have Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, and the Friday after. Christmas Eve. The Christmas Eve a partial day or all day? The state is going to do all day. So yes. that basically that'd be the only change from last year would be we went we closed at one o'clock or we wouldn't open that day at all. Yeah. But the, the chair will entertain a motion to take the 2020 proposed holidays. And that puts Jack in corner. Right? Sorry? The, the proposed days, I just read it. Yeah. Chair, sure. entertain a motion to approve. It's only like a half day difference of what we did this year. So I so move. It's been moved. We only have a second. I'll second it for discussion purposes. I guess I'll just. Any further discussion? I'd like to keep it like last year. That would be to work to work on yeah. um, Christmas Eve. So well, there's not a lot of difference, but it's just my preference. It's been moved and seconded. I assume you're ready to vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes. All opposed? Same aye. sign. Passes two to one. We're going to push and roll. Opposed to the Christmas Eve holiday. Okay. The chair would entertain a motion to approve um, October 12th as an employee training day in lieu of what would normally have been a, a state at a federal holiday. I'm not opposed to the, the training day. I, I kind the material of needs to be changed. I, I, yeah, I think maybe there could be some, I don't know if we, we got back on feedback from last year. I think maybe if it wouldn't be have everybody here at the courthouse, I think maybe like Road and Bridge or they could do, do training, but maybe something more specific to themselves, not necessarily have everybody here at the courthouse all day. So I don't know. That's kind of in the details. I didn't know if you got any feedback like that. I'm not opposed to it. It's just while well, you know we're talking about it, maybe you know Jack at the you know Scott training he could do that day or and, and Jay you know that day that might we could all meet here for like a couple meetings and then break up and it might be more utilized uh, time is my point to that. But I'm I'm in favor of it. Do I have a motion? To I'll make the motion to. For the second. I'll second. All in favor, say good father, say no. Aye. Um, approved meeting dates for 2020. We have norm. It seems like most counties meet on Mondays. But we've chosen to do Tuesdays. I don't have a problem with Tuesdays. Does anybody have any opinions? I think we discussed it. It makes it easier to get the bill or something, wasn't it? Why? Because it was brought up that we changed the day. And I mean, we'll adjust our schedule if we need to, but I mean, it does give us a little extra time to get bills ready and printed, but we could change the time frame if that's what we The trouble is, you go to Monday, how many holidays are we going to have? You've got to change more holidays. Well, uh, you know, most of these holidays are Mondays. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so. You used to be Mondays and Wednesdays. Correct. You used to be Monday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't heard anything either way. I mean, if there's an uh, argument for changing the dates, I can meet any day. So. Uh, other well, than that, I wouldn't, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I'd have, I'd have made a motion to, to uh, check the day. Uh, I'll make a motion that we stay with the Tuesday meeting dates. I'll second that. All in favor, say goodbye for saying aye. 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 Passes. Okay. Meal reimbursement. I think you uh, skipped ahead a little. Skip. Oh, I'm sorry. Number nine. No. Number nine. Why? Just the creative organizational meeting shall be Monday, January 13th, 2021. Is that a Monday? Is that a Monday? It's the second Monday of January yeah. next year. That'll be the same day we'll do all of the oaths for the. It's unlikely that the it's leap year, Monday so would be the January leap year of creates a duplicate. Oh. Yeah. So it is Monday, the 11th. It's 11th? Okay. January 11th? That is right. Okay, the chair would entertain a motion to change our organizational meeting, uh, have our organizational meeting for 2021 on January 11th, 2021. I'll make a motion. I second it, Mr. Chair. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, passes through the roll. Three to zero. To name the following bank as eligible depository Exchange Bank and Trust, UMB Bank of Exorcist, and Bank of Blue Valley. Is that a motion to uh, name the treasurer's banks? recommendation? I recommend that we go ahead and continue with exchange, and I think I've got a letter there. I thought there was, I read something right. like that. Number two basically is just listing the possible or eligible depositories. Um, the next one is the recommendation, which I have a letter there from the county treasurer. Yeah, number 11. So we do have some counts in there that we set up banks, right? Yes, CDs and all of them. Okay, so I need a motion to name all the banks eligible depositories. I'll make a motion to use that list. As eligible depositories. I'll second. All favor, send the five and aye. Aye. Number 11, recommendation made by County Treasurer to exchange bank and trust is the main depository for Addison County. Chair, we entertain a motion. I so move, Mr. Chair. Second. We move to the second. All in favor, send the five and say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Mileage rate for 2020, IRS 58 cents per mile, state of Kansas 58% per mile. I would entertain a motion to have uh, Ashton County be the same as the state and the federal government. Also moved. I'll second it. It's been moved and second. All in favor, send it by by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Meal re reimbursements. Now, this is pasted on there. This is this? That is currently what's in the um, policy and procedures book. Uh -huh. Kelly will not pay for tips on alcoholic beverages. That's the same for a thing. Now, there's a question about sales tax. Shouldn't it's come up with that either. So sales tax is something we will pay. Mm -hmm. On meals. I'm sorry, what? On meals, you usually do. Yeah, because I tried to get my sales tax taken away from my food, which I got done. But it took an act of Congress in a restaurant. Hotels usually are pretty, um, work with us pretty well. It's easier to get those out of restaurants. With the, uh, if you eat at the motel that you charge to your room, you can get around it that way. But if you eat at any other facility, you're probably not going to pay. I'll make a motion to keep the real re meal reimbursement the same. I'll second it. All in favor, say goodbye by saying aye. Cell phone reimbursement. If it's if the department head authorizes the use of employee cell phones for the benefit of the county, the employee volunteer chooses to use his or her own cell phone. The county does the county will reimburse the individual and rate authorized by the county. Request for just reimbursement must be made on cell phone reimbursement form and submitted to the county clerk's office. Reimbursement 
taxable pursuant to IRS guidelines. Current rates are $25 for uh, non-data uh, plan, I guess, phones, $40 a month for data. Yeah. Um, one thing with this, um, those forms get submitted to the HR office and to the clerk's office. And with some discussion of um, the rates, um, we haven't changed the rates to adjust and I don't remember the last time it's actually been changed. Um, I had a couple um, suggestions as far as the call only to bump that to 30 and for the data and call to bump that to 60. To what was the 50? Um, mm -hmm. What was the 30 for the call only and 60 for 60. the data? Uh, what's that based on? I mean, did you do a survey or? Um, I did a few um, questions. There's a couple here um, in town that do the cell phone reimbursements and the HR was served, and um, that was probably close to average what we were coming back. I can go with a 30, but I think the raise of the 60 is a little aggressive, in my opinion. 60 bucks, I'd pay 100% of the phone bill. Not on most plans that I know of. Mm -hmm. Most plans Maybe are running, not. I mean, even a low data plan, you're running probably at least $100 a month. Okay. Um, from the private sector coming here, uh, average plan that we were paying $7.00 per person for a data plan to use their cell phone, uh, the internet, uh, be out there in the process, and then uh, 45 for regular without a just for discussion, the different uh, offices here, how much is our individual employees' own phones being utilized? I mean, how, I, I don't know, you know, I'm not out there to know what, you know, in the field, how much people are using their own phones. And I mean, it kind of varies department, department to department. Most of your one that we have on the data call are mainly department heads. So, we're using ours a lot. Um, there are, I think, a few other um, probably deputy positions or something that may be at that higher rate also. Um, usually the lower rates, I know a lot of the jail staff and deputies have their email and different communication on their phone. Um, I think another major department that are on um, that lower rate. There's, there's only a few. Mm -hmm. I do know as a county commissioner, I have email, text, seem like they go on every day. Mm -hmm. And I, it is nice to be able to answer all the email. That's what I was asking. If that's, if that's what the data means, you know, I think yeah. they all do that. Yeah. Yeah. So the people without the data can't, I guess they can text, but they can't email. Me? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Jack can tend to what I'm I probably get, over the course of a week, at least, I, I, would, I don't know, probably a dozen community members that Facebook message me or, you know, so I'm, I'm doing that on my phone and they'll call me, text me. Well, if they don't, have you, they don't have your address, they can find your text, they can find your Facebook text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think more people send me Facebook messages than they do an email almost, you know, community members. Mm -hmm. It's pretty common. On the call or text only, would is that thirty dollars? Is that probably break even, or do you think that's? I mean, um, I can probably see the data running up quicker than the, the call time, maybe. I'm, that, I'm, I'm just. 45. Yeah. 45. Okay. Well, do we have that many? Um, and I'm not judging everybody's phone. It's honestly, it's up to the department head what they're reimbursing them and what they're reimbursing them for. Um, it's, it's up to the department head which one they're getting because especially with um, certain positions, you're not going to want or need them on their phone all the time or to the extent that they are. Um, I think I added up and I think as the um, there's about I think there was 20 on that higher rate, and we have about 48 on the lower um, actual amount of employees. 
So we have more on the lawn. Mm -hmm. So there is more than Eric and Warren, mm -hmm. Warren Buffett who have these funds. Okay. <laughs> I'll make a motion then that we uh, go ahead and take the recommended rate of 30 and 60 per month for data and call plans. Is that the recommendation? Mm -hmm. okay. Any second? I think 60 is really high. I'll second it. Yeah. You can, you can check it. Well, I'll second it for discussion purposes. We live in a technological world, and sometimes you probably wish you weren't that accessible. Mm -hmm. so, so if we have an employee that picks up his phone and answers a question, or he gets paid 30 months, but if we get somebody that picks up the phone, they see a text, instead of calling that person, they text back, they get $60 a month? No. No. It's honestly, it's at the department has discretion what rate they're going at because they're going to know what they want that employee, how much they're using that cell phone, and what they're using it for. So they could have a data a data phone without getting reimbursed for that. Correct. Yep. Okay. And honestly, it's mainly your department heads and we like direct supervisors that are on that um, higher rate. Well, you know, I hate to say this, but the cost of cell phones today is there's a capital cost mm -hmm. to the employee for that cell phone. And, you know, like I, I'd want Jamie to have a data phone. She said, I, I don't want to buy one. We probably borrow one. I mean, I don't know if we really want to have one. <laughs> well, if we didn't have a choice, yeah. we would, may have to. What kind of tip me uh, for these is the fact that it don't sound like People are just signing up for the data plan if the other would suffice that we actually have more on the lower plan. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that kind of surprised me. I thought, well, maybe, the, oh, you know, $40 is available. I'll sign up for that and get it. So I'm, I'm glad, you it's know. It's going to be department heads' discretion. Not knowing the process that goes into how that's selected to is a little bit different. So mm -hmm. I'm still for it. All in favor, second five, saying aye. 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 Against? Aye. Passes two to one. Percentage to set the sales tax distribution between solid waste and joint community. I think these I, I think these figures are inaccurate. I agree. Um, I thought it was sixty one thirty nine. Oh no, I think they're um this was for two thousand nineteen is what we had. Um but as far as a recommendation for twenty twenty, I don't have that yet. So at this time I put it the way it is and if we need to adjust it later we can. Um, Connie and I have discussed of doing a little bit more research on I'm that sales tax and the splits. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the chair would entertain a motion to table the percentage of set for sales tax between solid waste and joint communication. I'd until more that, research. I'd make that motion. And I'll second that. Table. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. The chair would entertain a motion to. Uh, a resolution waiving the general accepted accounting practices for the 2020 audit. Or gap is this? What is, I'll be honest, what is that waiving that entail? I mean, what is, what are we doing? <clears throat> the generally accepted accounting principles require what's known as accrual basis accounting. And Kansas, by statute, requires cash basis accounting. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this allows the auditor to waive the requirement or the standard, the industry's industry standard for uh, accountants to use a cruel method of accounting uh, to go strictly on a cash basis. And the, the uh, other option is essentially to run two sets of books, the statutory books at the uh, with the cash basis accounting and then another set of books with the accrual method. And there are several municipalities that do that. Your recommendation? recommendation. My recommendation would be to, to waive the generally accepted accounting principles and go with what you're statutorily mandated to do, which is the cash basis accounting. I'll make a motion that we go ahead and waive the gap. 2020. I second that. All in favor, 75 is saying aye. Aye. Passes 3 to 0. Well, didn't we already do Terry McMahon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
set that is covered. That's going to be hard to do because that's basically going to be the screw. Yeah, when you do it in the spring, do you want to do it in the fall? I think the recommendation is to do it in the fall when 377 has government class or government. They have um, a, their teacher that taught the government is no longer at the school, so I'll have to get with the new teacher, whoever they have. Is as of this semester, he's no longer there. So, are we going to try to have one for the class of 2020, or are we, which would have one in the spring if we want to move to the fall, then we would basically be having another government day in the what fall. You guys want to say? No. See if we have one for this class. We didn't have one last year. I'm sure we entertain a motion to come up with a date for government day in the fall. I'll make it. Oh, did you make the motion? Well, I said I would entertain a motion. I'll, I'll make the motion. I second it. All in favor, second, five, seven, one. Aye. Aye. Passes three to zero. Set. 9 one on addressing permit fees to for 2019. Is there a recommendation on this? And this is something that was um, talked about last year and it was tabled for discussion this year. Um, this would be I thought I thought we kind of come up with chemical census that the first go around we wouldn't charge them but if there was a new home that come in a year or two later there would be some kind of fee that we never did come up with a fee right that's it was discussed last year um there was no set fee determined i think we are to table that until we get some input on that is that a uh, motion yes I'll second it. All the papers said the five is saying aye. Aye. Um, approved the 2020 budget plan. We haven't got a proposal. Is it going to be the same? I think. Technically, it would be for the 2021. I'm sorry, for the 20s. It would be the 2021. Right. Mm -hmm. You get a copy of She she I do. Yeah. 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 She she mm -hmm. so just go ahead and sign yeah. 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 Is there any changes? Any date movement or anything? Not for I made sure that they were on Tuesday based on your meeting date. Other than that, they're similar to what I had them. Should we send a copy of this to the new office? Because we always sure. have trouble with them getting, you know, they went through the last minute before we get the number. Well, we have, we'll get to it, but we have, we put deadlines in our expectations for deliverables in our RFP, and they're reflected in the, uh, uh, the engagement letter. So, shouldn't be an issue. You know, one thing, I, Michelle, I sent you a letter about this. Mm -hmm. We sent a letter out to the review uh, to uh, ask uh, outside agencies for appropriations request. Mm -hmm. I think we should assign dates for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we won't ask for the same information that we asked last year, the 990 or equivalent. Okay. Uh, and that's what's in the letter that we have now. Oops, and I, I can just go down the calendar month. Or the, you want them in the afternoon? Yes. I think it's, a, it's yeah. we should have them in the afternoon, and I can just give them how how long of a session do you prefer them being? Do you want to give them? Everyone's going to be different, or different. Right. So I just said the meeting starts at one o'clock. Uh, okay. We'll uh, let them go as long as we need it to go. But they need to get the information to us at least a week before. Mm -hmm. My suggestion would be try to do the ones that were required to uh, fund. First, okay, and I think those are, if not Pat, those I don't know which they are. Top of my head, Pat, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't. We can come up with a list, but off top of my head, no. Okay, so the chair approved. Uh, we pay a motion to approve the 2021 budget calendar. 
I still move it. Okay. One second. All in favor signify it. Aye. 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 Passes for the zero. The ASB board resolution authorizing signatures. So I'm 100% sure that that is. I'm sorry. It's number 21. There is a resolution that they passed last year. Um, I've got with Tom, but I haven't gotten the actual resolution back yet from her. Um, so we'll have to present it at a later date. I have it in here. Um, it is basically for authorization for her as the administrator of the senior village to sign any and all documents pertaining to Medicare, IRS forms, um, and all the documents for the patients. Should we entertain a motion to table number 21 board ASB board resolution for authorizing signatures? Motion is presented. Motion no, second. Let's move and second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 22. Discussion of joint meeting with cities and with all cities of the county. Let's set a good date. This is something that I'm interested in and I thought we needed to probably. Uh, address as far as if you were going to have joint meetings, if you're going to have a joint meeting, if you wanted it just to be with the city of Ashton, or if you wanted to present, um, a, let all of these cities be part of that. Well, it has, a, at least it has been a long-standing tradition that the county has a meeting and we host it, and then the city has the next meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, that's still the way we would do it. It's been several years since you've had a meeting with all of the, the cities, and um, I don't know if you want to have one, but not to get sales tax issues. So I think I'd be a bad move. I'm not saying that we shouldn't meet with this kind of city, but I wouldn't try to combine. I would say maybe if we, when we get to the point, if we have a proposal. On the sales tax issue, then that might make a good one, but I don't think we're close to a proposal yet. Well, we haven't had a proposal for 25 years. So, right. what are we going to do to get closer? <sighs> are you going to keep, keep carrying the gauntlet for that? Um, um, I'd like to hear back on the current proposal and then we then go from there and then I'll be gladly let somebody else take a turn at it but I'd like to I haven't heard back from them yet and I have sent an email out haven't heard a reply yet so mm -hmm. um, I would say short term yes very short term and then I'll be somebody else wants to take a stab at it go ahead last year we had a meeting okay we can go for that last year we had a meeting with the townships and I thought it was very very productive. Could we have a, a meeting with the townships and small cities in combination and reserve the city of Atchison for when they call the meeting? I don't know whether the, we would have the same agenda okay. for both. I mean, I, I see all the townships coming in for one. I mean, that fits in good with the road and bridge. I think that the when we got into the small cities, either have a meeting for themselves or with the city of Atchison. I think the municipality agenda would be more alike. Or I think we need to keep all three of them separate. Okay, meaning we keep townships separate, the small and, and smaller municipalities, and the and city, of city of Atchison separate. Correct. So, are we ready to set up a Time to have these. Or... To me, I think I'm waiting for the city to come up with at least the one thinking for the city to come up with a, a meeting. It's their turn. Okay. Um, do you have anything on the small cities? Is there any? I mean, would we be considering the? Uh, Working towards a meeting date, uh, like trying to get an agenda of what we're going to talk about before we try well, to just, schedule a meeting. I just didn't know what we were going to talk about. That's, that's yeah. That's I, I think, like Commissioner Noah said, I think we need to have agendas. So let's meet and they all come here and we look around at one another. We all have some planning. 
agenda they want to talk about, and maybe agenda that we want to talk about. So, I tell you, I meet some, sometimes I, I try to make it to a meeting or two a year with the small cities, and I will ask them if they have any issues that they would like to bring forward, and then if there would be, propose scheduling a meeting then, if, if they've got anything that they want to talk about, if that's all right with you two. I mean, so should we just take these two items and have a year of continuing discussion? I think it's basically just to the thought process. Yeah. If it's something you guys are home and want to, we can we can feed off of that. Okay. Anything else we need to discuss with you? Nothing that I have. Okay, let's move on to the next. So you people in 23 and 23. Well, I just I just said ongoing discussion. Do we need a motion to make that? Uh, I'll make a motion to table both points 22 and 23 with the joint meetings. Okay. That, that limits our discussion ability unless we're in open session. We can't discuss it in a workshop. Let's table it. Let's get anything. All right. No. No, I don't think you need to have anything on it. Just uh, uh, no, I don't think you're required to take any action one way or the other. I'll be saying I was just trying to be clear. You draw your motion? Yes. Okay. okay uh, old or unfinished business before the board. Is there anything with that? No. Nope. Um, county Council Updates. Uh, you have, I think, in your packet the proposed uh, engagement letter to Gordon CPA for auditing, and it does have added to it the language I was wanting about adding in uh, deliverables, deadline, dates. Uh, those are included now. Uh, so I uh, actually uh, thought from the beginning that the uh, it, it was a good it was a good engagement letter uh, in that it didn't uh, a lot of the engagement letters that I've seen have uh, are set mostly to limit the liability of the auditor and to uh, pre-place blame for anything that's not found in the audit on, on the county or on the, the client not necessarily the county that, that wasn't so much the case here. Uh, it does now have the uh, deliverables um, added and the deadlines for that, and that's on the last page, the third paragraph from the bottom. Um, so I think it accurately reflects what we were wanting in the RFP. So the people have to work with them. Jamie, Connie, Michelle. What do you guys think of uh, this auditing firm? Are you happy with the engagement letter? I didn't give the engagement letter to to them. If you want to put it off another week, I can. I, I think we ought to make sure everybody who's going to have to deal with them is on board. Um, or is there any time constraints on when we need to sign this? I mean, uh, did he? He was trying to get a couple of days. I don't know if he was, could you he didn't, give, he didn't me, give so, me a deadline. So I wouldn't think that a week wouldn't make any difference, I wouldn't think. So I can get that email to them here while we're in the meeting. We have a we have Bill's copy. I don't know if you want a copy or not. Would you rather have an email? Yeah, that's fine. Anybody besides Michelle and Connie and Jamie? Do you want to go since? Jack, do you need to see a copy of it? Okay. You need to see a copy of it, Jack, or no? Okay. Next thing on the agenda is county council updates. And so we are in county council updates. Yes, yeah, there's just this. Is just that one thing? Yes. Uh, I don't see any claims to do. Um, any public comment? 
Mary, you really know, follow care. Almost, I, I would enter, uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn at one fifty. So move. I guess Jack have nothing to say. Connie, Jay, Jamie. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Passes to the zero. We're adjourned.